Where is our C1 certificate? By 2008-2009, I was other those students. At AOE state-run language schools, you get free and top-quality language lessons for everybody, but now you cannot get a certificate crediting an advanced level. Avanzado 2, a B2, stands for an upper intermediate level. We've got the schools, we've got the teachers, we've got the students. Where are our certificates? Good evening, my name is Jonathan, and I've studied at AOE Getafe in the course in 2008-2009. Today I'm going to talk about uh, Schopenhauer's book, uh, one of them, which is called uh, The Will as Will and Representation. Uh, in that uh, book, Howard talks about uh, everything, a little bit of everything. Uh, for example, about uh, art, ethics, religion, or, or science. Uh, basically, what he says is that uh, there are only two things that exist. One of them is uh, the representation, and the other one is uh, the world. Uh, this will is more or less like, like what Kant said uh, was uh, the uh, noumenon. Uh, it's uh, the thing itself, the only thing that, that really exists. The difference between uh, Kant and Schopenhauer, however, is that Kant said that there were many noumena, whereas Schopenhauer said that there is only one, uh, with multiple, uh, multiple representations, uh, which would be like uh, Kant's phenomenon, more or less. Um, uh, however, uh, Kant doesn't really say that if the phenomenon really exists or doesn't exist, whereas Schopenhauer said that they don't. They are just the uh, images of the will of living. That, uh, that will of living is uh, basically pain. Uh, it's only one, and it obviously doesn't have a space or time. Space or time. Uh, are what he calls uh, reason principles that make uh, one thing, which is the will of, uh, of living, uh, many things, which are people, animals, and objects. Uh, he says that by watching the relations between those objects, and those people, those animals, you can see what, uh, that it's only one thing that exists, that thing that hate that we have against each other. That's why there are wars, wars and that's why we have to kill animals in order to live. And that's uh, even uh, with physical laws, for example, gravity, because uh, we're uh, constantly fighting gravity uh, in order to walk and all that. Um, and, well, um, I don't know what else to say. Um, basically, um, it's that, but, uh, he also says, uh, he also talks about uh, how, uh, he also says that we can escape uh, from that pain. Uh, how can we do that? Uh, there are three ways. One of them is uh, by watching art. Art uh, makes us forget that we are, uh, that we are really people, that we are uh, an individual, and makes us think that, he says that we get into pain and uh, we we see it in a in an objective objective way, no, not a subjective one. So uh, we don't really uh, we just see pain, but that pain doesn't affect uh, affect us. It, it affects uh, the whole uh, humanity. So uh, we we forget that we suffer. Uh, the second way is by, by trying to make the life higher. To, uh, ambition basically that, that we uh, seek for th new things that, that we uh, that we are constantly uh, wanting things that we can get um, however uh, that we don't uh, make it do with uh, what we have but that we always want new things it's a change because if we don't change uh, we, we get bored which uh, Schopenhauer says it's even uh, worse um, that, um, uh, yeah, like, because uh, the will of living is also uh, wanting things, he says, um, and it never stops. Uh, unless you try the third way, the third way, which is uh, uh, not wanting anything at all. And that is more difficult, he says, because obviously uh, it's very difficult not to want any more things. Uh, you must have had a, a bad experience with uh, life 
or um, I don't know, uh, you must really believe in your religion or something uh, to just don't care about life but just care about the, the general good uh, of humanity uh, because uh, we help humanity, we deny life because if we don't want anything, in the end we will die, right? but uh, it won't be like a, a normal death uh, if we die, according to Schopenhauer, we we'll live again we'll, because it's only pain that, that exists and we go on living, uh, we reincarnate uh, however, if we don't want anything, we don't just die, we disappear. Uh, we eliminate that uh, part of, of the will, and the will m must be removed, because if there is no will, there is no pain. Oh, wow. Uh, there is no other life either, but he says that at least uh, the, the closest thing you can get to uh, happiness is the nothing. You get nothing, and that's obviously better than being suffering uh, over and over again. If we all did that, if we didn't have children, and then he says that we would eliminate the only thing that exists, and that would be better for, for us. Schopenhauer was uh, also keen on animals, because uh, as he says that uh, everything is the same. He he thought that we uh, we we had to be just to to animals. That we shouldn't hurt them and treat them li like a, a human being um, and uh, yeah because uh, as he says that we are all the same we we must never forget that that's his uh, theory of ethics that we should never uh, do anything that we wouldn't like to be done and basically that is philosophy